Chapter 7 The Three Wishes Get ready. Do you help the needy and helpless people? Do you think God fulfills the wishes of people who help others? If you got three wishes, what would you wish for? Let's read this story to find out how God fulfills the wishes of people who help others. Raman Gupta was a very rich merchant. He lived in a magnificent house and had many servants. However, in spite of all his riches, he was very miserly and never gave to charity. He had a neighbor, Shishir Gupta. Shishir was quite poor, but he was very generous. Nobody went from his house, feeling disappointed. One day, Lord Vishnu decided to test the two neighbors. Disguised as a beggar, he presented himself in front of Raman's house first. When Raman saw the beggar, he shouted at once. Miserly, not willing to spend money, charity, welfare of people, generous, liberal in giving and sharing, disguised, changed appearance. Get away from here. Don't expect any help from me. Sir, I am very tired. Please give me a corner in your house to spend the night. I promise I will leave early in the morning. Do you think this is a dharamshala? Snapped Raman. Go away at once or I will have you thrown out. So the beggar turned away and went to the house where Shishir lived. When Shishir saw the beggar enter his house, he went up to him at once. With a warm welcome, he invited him to his house where he shared his food prepared for his own night meal. Thereafter, having made him comfortable for the night, Shishir went to sleep. In the morning, the beggar revealed his true identity and said, I am very pleased with your kindness. Ask me anything you desire and I will grant your wish. But Shishir was a very humble man and religious too. Greatly moved, he fell at Lord Vishnu's feet and said, Lord, let me be firm in my faith. I wish for nothing more than to be able to serve you to the best of my ability. So be it, said Lord Vishnu and with that, Dharamshala, rest house, humble, simple, gentle, He took his leave, yet no sooner had he gone than Shishi's humble house changed into a beautiful mansion. When Raman saw Shishi's lovely house, he was filled with envy, filled with regret too when he heard the story of how it had happened. He was sorry that he had turned the beggar away. So at once he set out, travelling the same road that the Lord Beggar had taken in the hope of meeting him. Luckily, he had not gone far when he saw the Lord standing near a tree. At once, Raman threw himself at Lord Vishnu's feet and said, Oh Lord, please do forgive me. I did not know it was you, else I would never have turned you away. But do come now so that I can receive your blessings. Of course, Lord Vishnu realized the reason for Raman's invitation, but he did not comment. He just smiled and said, Thank you for your invitation, but I am unable to accept it. However, I do grant you three wishes to make use of at any time. Hearing this, Raman's joy knew no bounds. Three wishes instead of one, he thought happily. He would be better off than Shishir, no doubt. Having thanked the Lord, Raman now hurried home. On the way, he thought of all the lovely things he longed to possess, but could not decide on which ones he wanted the most. Mansion, a big house, envy, jealousy, longed, wished. 
A bit irritated at his own decision, unthinkingly he snapped at a noisy, cawing crow, which was disturbing his trend of thoughts. Silly crow, I wish you were dead. To his surprise, he had hardly said these words when the crow fell dead at his feet. Oh, what a fool I am! Realized Raman at once. I have lost one of my wishes. I must be careful from now on. When he reached home, he went to his room and sat on his bed thinking of how he would utilize his other two wishes. He was in deep thought when a servant came to his room and said that the mistress wished to see him. Annoyed at being disturbed, Raman snapped at the servant. Tell your mistress I cannot come. I am so deep in thought. I wish to stay glued to the bed. The servant went and conveyed this message to his mistress, concerned about her husband. Raman's wife went to his room to see what was wrong. Seeing her, he tried to get up so that he could explain everything to her. But to his horror, he couldn't get up and then he realized his foolishness. He had gone and wasted another wish. He then narrated the whole story to his wife. Upon hearing the whole story, his wife began to scold him. This is the result of your greed, she said. So there is no use mourning about it. Mourning, feeling great sadness. There is only one thing to do now. Use your last wish to get yourself unstuck from that bed. But if I do so, I will gain nothing. Said Raman, feeling very upset. Yes, and if you were to gain anything, of what use would it be if you were just glued to the bed for your whole life? His wife pointed out angrily. Raman now saw the truth of what she had said. So he used his last wish to free himself from the bed. But with that he also learned a lesson. From then on, he began to live a more meaningful life. He gave generously to the poor and was very kind and helpful to everyone. Lord Vishnu again thought of testing him. So after a couple of years, he knocked at Raman's door. This time he was in the guise of a traveller. The traveller said, My dear fellow, I have lost my way and need a place to spend the night. Will you take pity on me and give me shelter in a corner of your house? Raman replied, Yes, of course, my house is open to all. He looked after the visitor well. In the morning, the visitor disclosed his identity. He asked Raman to wish for anything, but Raman said, I just wish for your blessings, my lord.